So as mammals, we are warm-blooded. Our bodies regulate our temperature based on the environment. Amphibians, which we learned about last week, are cold-blooded. That means they don't regulate their own temperature. They have to go to warm or cold areas to control their body temperature. Reptiles are the same. They are also cold-blooded. So when this leopard gecko wants to cool off, he's gonna jump in the water or go to some shade. And once he wants to warm up, he's gonna come to his sun lamp, which he usually hides under when he's in his cage. But right now he's a little confused because he's not out of his cage very often. The other thing to know about reptiles being cold-blooded is they are able to eat in the water and out of the water. Now, I don't know if this little guy is gonna eat right now, because he's very confused, but I'm gonna give him a worm just in case he decides to. So reptiles eat insects, they eat little worms, they eat flying insects, but he's a little confused right now, so he might choose not to eat anything, or he may decide to eat it, we'll see. He's used to eating these guys, let's see. He's not watching him with his eyes, so I suspect he's not gonna eat for us this time. But these are insects. We can see they have six legs, just like when we learned about insects. They have little antenna, they have segmented bodies, and this is what reptiles eat. Although this little leopard gecko does not have any interest in them right now because he's in a new environment. Reptiles are cold-blooded. They have to regulate their temperature based on their environment. And stop there.